When the bacteria get into the bloodstream, say from a simple flea bite, the body sends an army of white blood cells to destroy them. But the bacteria outwit the immune system. They get inside the white blood cells, the very cells sent to kill them, and hijack them for their own ends. The bacteria use the white blood cells to hitch a ride to the lymph nodes, the center of the body's defense network. Here they break out and attack the immune system itself, giving the victim little chance of survival. We focus in on a particular part of the gene, and, and here you see an individual with two copies of the Delta 32 mutation. Uh, with two copies. When all the results are in, the mutation is seen in 14% of the samples. When we looked in Africa, it was totally zero. Native Africans did not have Delta 32 at all, and when we looked at East Asians and Indians, they also were flat zero. Hi, I just added a few clips from the documentary Secrets of the Dead, Mystery of the Black Death. Um, the things that interested me about this, um, this program is that they tested out some villagers that were descendants of people that survived the bubonic plague. And what they found out was 14% of them had the Delta 32 mutation. Now 14% is getting around the mark of the percentage of RH negative people, which is around 15%. So, I'm wondering if there is a connection there to our blood type. Another thing is that whenever he was looking around the world for this mutation, uh, there wasn't any in um, Africa, Native Africans, um, in East Asia, and uh, in Native Americans. So. These are areas where there tend to be less of the Rh negative blood type. Um, so I find that very interesting as well. Okay, now another thing that I was going to talk about is um, uh, on Jessica Farrell's website. Um, she did a lot of research about, um, you know, whether RH negatives are um, more resistant to plagues and things like the AIDS virus. Um, and she has done a great deal of research. I will provide the link in, um, in the description below this video. Okay, so what interested me, uh, there does seem to be a connection there with the bubonic plague. I can remember years ago, whenever I first got into an RH negative group, we had discussed about this. Um, and there does seem to be a connection there that maybe the people that survived the bubonic plague were RH negative. Uh, but here is um, some recent evidence that was done in Nigeria. They, um, they were testing out all the people that had the AIDS virus, they were testing their blood type. Um, most of those people were RH positive, um, I think it said something like 97%, 2.2% were uh, RH negative. So that's quite a difference between RH positive and RH negative. Um, I have a friend, Darlene, that used to work for the University of San Francisco, and she was working for a geneticist at one point. So uh, at the time I had an RH negative group, and um, I put something on there asking our members for questions to ask the geneticist. Uh, Darlene agreed to ask the geneticist a few questions from our group. Um, there was a guy in our group, Paul, that had a very good question about why do RH negatives uh, not get the AIDS virus. Uh, so Darlene asked that and the geneticist said, well, it's not that they don't get it, but that uh, they are more resistant 
to the AIDS virus due to them having a different immune system. So I thought that was an interesting answer to your question. Um, so there does seem to be, we have this increased immunity. Um, so I find that very interesting that we don't get AIDS. Um, I mean that we are more resistant to the AIDS virus. Um, there are some that do get it, but it's, you know, the percentage wise, 2.2% compared to 97% that are RH positive, that's quite a difference. <laughs>
Here's the thing, you know, we are modern day descendants of the, those Israelites in the Bible, so therefore we're Israelite. Uh, in the last days, it talks about a plague is going to happen. The fourth horse of the apocalypse is a pale greenish color, which means, you know, sickness. Uh, so a lot of people believe that there will be a great plague on the earth. Uh, now, if that happens and we have the blood of the Lamb, then there's a very good chance that we are going to survive this plague. So I just kind of wanted to talk about that a little bit. Um, the RH negatives seem to be more resistant to different viruses like AIDS, perhaps the bubonic plague. Uh, so therefore, um, we could be protected by the blood of the Lamb. Uh, because if we are from the bloodline of Jesus, then we may have a different type of genetics. Okay, that's it for now. Goodbye.